Ever wonder if working out consistently can help you with the dimples on your legs that you can't seem to get rid of? Yep, I'm talking about cellulite, but before we get into it, let's talk about what cellulite actually is. And stick with me as I answer the question you've all been asking, can you get rid of cellulite with exercise? Cellulite actually isn't too much fat. It's a physical trait most women have, and it's caused by weaker connective tissue and larger fat cells around women's thighs and hips, which we carry why? You guessed it, because we bear children. 93% of women are affected by cellulite, and actually it's shocking that 60% of women believe that it's down to their lifestyle. But newsflash, cellulite is normal. There are a few things that you can do to help lower the appearance of cellulite. So if it makes you feel better, nearly all women will have cellulite, but how it shows will differ from person to person. And that's because your friend could have it under her skin, it just may not show on the surface. Every physical body is different, so cellulite looks different on every individual person. There's nothing to worry about though, because how it appears, plus how much you have is actually largely due to genetics, activity, your lifestyle factor, your body fat percentage, and your age. So there are things that you can do about your cellulite. There is an old wife's tale that swears that cardio will get rid of cellulite, and I'm putting that one to bed once and for all. I'm sharing my tips on how to really get rid of cellulite. So why do you get cellulite? Like I said before, it's actually fibrous tissue breakdown underneath your skin. So as fat cells push upwards towards your skin, it gives a dimply appearance on the surface. When you can increase your body fat, you can also increase the appearance of cellulite. So if you lose a significant amount of muscle, you can also increase the appearance of cellulite. So here's the question. Can exercise reduce cellulite? Technically, you cannot remove cellulite with exercise, but as you increase muscle mass and lower body fat percentage, the fat stills will start to shrink and your cellulite will be a lot less visible. So it's not excessive cardio. Actually doing excessive cardio will most likely burn through that muscle that you need to give your body the sculpted look that you desire. So instead, I want you to focus on building muscle and reducing body fat for the best chance of lowering the appearance of cellulite. So for me, my cellulite always shows up on the back of my legs and my thighs and my booty. That's just where it is. And I will say, when I am really consistent with my diet and my workout routine, you can barely see it. But if I'm pregnant, for example, like right now, and I'm in my third trimester, you can definitely see it a lot more than usual because I have a higher body fat percentage. So there are things you can do to help. I do remember when I was competing, I was shocked that I hardly had any cellulite showing on my legs because I had so much muscle and I had lost my body fat percentage. So there is hope if you are prone to cellulite. If you are self-conscious about your cellulite, I have three tips to help you practice self-love and give yourself grace. So remember, like I said, 93% of women have cellulite or they will have it at some point in their lives. It's just a fact of life. So next time you feel self-conscious, Remember, everybody is too busy with themselves to notice your own cellulite anyway, but you can also treat yourself and invest in a really cute gym outfit that makes you feel less self-conscious and more confident. It will make all the difference to wear clothes that you feel comfortable in. If you have an outfit you love, you'll feel more confident, you'll be more motivated to go to the gym in the first place, you may enjoy your gym session more, you might even work out harder during your session, so go get that cute outfit. Number three, focus on a training goal that isn't related to cellulite. Yes, it might sound obvious, but you'd be surprised how important a healthy diet and a well-rounded training program will boost your confidence, and that's the whole point, right? So I want you to focus on as many positive things as you can instead of on your cellulite. So to recap, the three things you can do for self-love are give yourself grace, 
treat yourself with a cute new outfit and stick to a regimented training program and fuel yourself with nutrients that's going to help you reach your goals. One other thing I wanted to talk about is spot reducing fat. A lot of women will think if I have cellulite on my hamstrings, I'm just gonna do hamstring work and the cellulite will go away. Or if I have cellulite on my arms, I'll do an arm workout and it'll go away. But unfortunately, we cannot spot reduce fat. So we can't decide where our body's gonna lose the fat. We can just tone the muscle underneath. So I want you to keep that in mind that you are going to have overall body fat loss percentage. And then as you sculpt your body through weightlifting and doing heavy weights, which is important, that's how you're going to sculpt and shape your body to get rid of the cellulite that you are not wanting. So it might not come off exactly where you want at the exact time, but if you are consistent, I promise it will pay off and you will feel so much better in the long run. A lot of women are nervous to lift heavy because they either don't know what to do, they don't know the proper form, or they're scared that they'll get bulky. So if you need help, I am here to help you. I love helping women feel their best through movement, nutrition, and mindfulness as a holistic approach to health and wellness. I have all of my eight-week programs that are linked in the description below. If you're interested, let me know. If you enjoyed this video, I want you to check out my next video, how to eat and train for your specific body type, ectomorph, mesomorph, and endomorph. I'm Bonnie by Brie. Thank you for joining me to create the healthiest, happiest version of yourself. I'll see you back here next time.